take two. Hello, so I'm having a bit of a play with the camera again this time to see, I can't seem to figure out how to flip it whilst I'm actually mid-video. Um, but today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Jaguar X-Type. Again, I've got the um, the door handle just started to go a bit funny. Uh, it started to be a bit odd on me. Um, I was opening the door handle, no problem at all, and then one day it took about three or four efforts to do it, which wasn't too much of a problem until it started to be 20 efforts, and then it just didn't work, and I had to go in through the passenger side or someone else had to open the handle from the inside just to get the driver's door so didn't really know what to do, didn't know too much what to do so I'll explain to you what I've done which I think has fixed it and then explain to you how you can do it if you get the same issue as well so over here uh, you can see now um, it is working every time um, whether it will fix it for the long term I don't know um, but you can see here every time it's working but it was getting to the point where you pull it and pull it and pull it and pull it and it wouldn't work so the first thing you need to do is take the door card off uh, you can see here it's, it is off and um, I did think about trying to take a video for showing this but I found a video online and um, taking door cards off from one card to the next is, is very very uh, very similar um, you know I've, I've taken plenty of door cards off different cars and they all seem to work in the same way uh, on this one you can see uh, there are clips here 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 broken here here there's a screw there there's a clip there and a clip there um there are many recommended ways of if you just do certain things you can um you can try not to break the clips but i've always tried different ways and uh, it's just they, they seem to break whenever they want to even if you're really careful um on this particular type of x type um i think there may be a variation because there's a slight difference here uh, over this side, I'm pointing. There's a slight difference there, and there's a slight difference down here. So it may be that, depending on the screws that are in the bottom, it would give a better indication. Uh, one video that I saw um, had one screw here. You can see the little yellow clips. The door card has got two uh, two screws on this one. It might be because it's the older 2003. Um, whereas another door card uh, had, only had the one screw. It might have been central, it might have been one of those two. It only had one screw. Then on the inside here, that was slightly different as well. Um, but to take the door card off, there's a um, a cap there, as you can see on the, that's the cap that comes out. It's a little tiny piece of plastic. Um, it's the same over on the other side. You can see it's quite well, it's quite discreet, but it's down inside that bit there. I'll go and pick it up on the camera, on the passenger side. Um, there it is. So it's there, you've got to take that little cover off, which then uh, releases a screw, or not releases it, it shows you the screw hole and it is just a little Phillips and on this one there are two little Phillips screws there on the other car that I'd seen then you've got to get to the to actually access the latch uh, on the other video I'd seen there was like a, a plastic um, a plastic bit of protection here that goes in the top and um, well you're not in the top but you can put it out from the top and then put it out from the bottom um, to get the plastic out and that's a shim or protector so the idea is again Jaguar have been quite clever or try to be quite clever and um, to make sure that you can't just shim the door to make to, to steal the car basically and um, with this one it's a big metal bracket now the metal bracket itself um, it isn't too difficult to remove it's a fiddle it's a pain because it's uh, you know there's lots of little sharp edges on the metal sharp edges here sharp here so you can see I've got a few little war wounds on this one um, but they're just two little clips like this and they've got a a cable holder almost there the cable isn't doing anything on this but those two clips have to be removed which I just moved out of the way to give you a bit of a better access to the uh, door catch the door catch itself is then held on by just those three Torx screws there um, and it took me a little while to hunt them but I've got a nice set of Torx screws or Torx Allen keys here that helped to get them out it was that one, whichever size that is, it is a T, must be a T30 because it's, there you are, yeah, it's T30 uh, is the one to get those those screws out. So when the screws come out, the latch is out. Um, I didn't really seem to matter what I did, um, and I was actually sat, my dad was outside the car, he's gone home now, they came to visit me. Um, but when you look inside, you can see two rods, I don't know how clearly that comes out or not. Um, but did I, bring, I didn't bring the torch out. But you can tell here, look, I won't tell here. There's a little rod 
just there. And that little rod um, is the thing that actually locks and unlocks the vehicle. And there's another rod just up here that I can't show you. I'm gonna get me a little torch in a second. There's another rod there that actually releases the catch. I'll show you how it works in a sec. I'll go and get me head torch. Well, there we go. So part two to that bit. Uh, you can see there's a rod there. It's difficult because the camera's trying to pick up the... There you go. It's coming to view now. So there, that little wipe cover there, whoop, is the bottom end of the rod. So if I show you the handle, if I can get that to stay in focus a little bit. Go on, stay in focus. Right, can you see that moving up and down? As I'm pulling the handle from the outside, that's the bit that opens the door. Now, I pulled on it a few times, couldn't get it to work. Then my dad was outside and he was pulling it just really slowly and gently. And I could see the rod was moving exactly as it needed to. And one time it just opened. As I put my hand towards it, it opened. Dad said, what did you do? So nothing, Dad. Didn't touch anything. You must have done. And that was what was weird about it. So I assumed it was this mechanism. Um, there was something wrong inside of it that was a bit knackered. But it turns out instead, again, I don't know if you can see very clearly on here, but the little white cover there, that cover, if you pull it, comes off. That's the way to change the, lock, the latch mechanism. If you were to need to replace it, you pull that white cover off um, or you know, lift it towards the camera as you're looking at it there and that releases the rod. And if you look at the very bottom of that, it's really difficult to see on the camera, especially with the light that we haven't got. There you go, the little thread. So that little thread can go up and down. So with that rod that's there, you can adjust it slightly. I adjusted it and pulled the rod right the way down and all that did was left the handle poking out outside of the vehicle, if that makes sense. Um, so that it looked like the handle wasn't all the way down. So that meant that I definitely had over uh, overdone the, um, the adjustment on it. So I put it down a bit more and it's, it's working perfectly fine now. So someone else has recommended, uh, and well, thank you to the guys on the Facebook group, this is at the UK, X-Type UK um, Facebook group that I'll try and put a link to in the comments. There's a couple of chaps on there had recommended to pull the cover off and that's the way to adjust it. But someone else has also put that if you look at the very bottom of that where the thread is, or it is a threaded bolt, I should say. Now, because it is threaded, I'm gonna try and see if I've got a little nut to screw it up, because if that slips again, it will stop me getting in the car again. Um, anyway, so that's how you would adjust it uh, on this particular car, and I'm gonna put that together again soon. <sighs> Anything else to tell? I don't think so. Oh, what else? Well, it actually started working before I adjusted it as well. What I had done is I'd piled WD-40 uh, inside the mechanism here, all over the rod, all over the angles here. I piled it into this bit too, just to check and see, was it just something else that wasn't quite right? Um, and it, it started working the following day, almost every time, I think one in 20, um, it didn't open. So maybe the slight adjustment wasn't needed, it was more just WD-40. Can't really tell why that would make a difference, the adjustment seems to be the better option. Anyway, it's been adjusted, it's at WD-40, I'm gonna find a screw and put it all back together again. Fitting is the same, but in reverse. Um, again, I've not found a way to do anything better with this. The gunk that you get on here that holds it on is is really, really sticky. So to then actually remove the, the liner uh, isn't ideal. Um, what, what I would say is that whenever I've done it before, I've made sure I use plenty of like pretty strong duct tape or gaffer tape or something just to give it a good seal again. While I'm also here, anybody who's looking, uh, those speakers, probably like 13 centimeter are they? I don't know, but well, there is not a lot of depth behind that thing. Uh, obviously the windows will come down behind that as well. So if you were to want to fit different speakers, uh, you might need to make sure you get your depths right on those. I've had to fit shallow fit speakers to a car before. Um, but they actually look all right, the cones look okay. I don't have a problem with the sound quality in this one. Uh, I have just a, a bit of a lack of bass. Um, oh, door card wise, go back to that. So again, taking that all off, the screws to release it is one thing. You've then got to release this uh, from the handle uh, on the inside. Again, you can see it's similar to like a, a mountain bike or something like that. That's the way to release it. And then what I did as well to release the um, wiring loom, because there's a loom, it comes in through, oh, where does it come in? Yeah. 
So there's the loom, comes in through the, through the door. Uh, you've got wiring to the uh, windows and warranty speakers um, and everything else that's like got the electrics on it. Uh, I found it a lot easier. Uh, unplug that cable from the thing. I think it's from the, that must have been the hand, the switches. Um, but this one is actually easier because the, the switch or the, you can see there, the little, the little clip was quite fragile. Oh look, Alpine. That's interesting, it's an Alpine tweeter. Uh, which goes with my Alpine stereo. Um, yeah, so the tweeter, it just released by a twist and the whole tweeter came out. So I just took the tweeter out rather than trying to uh, take the, take the um, what's it called off and then snap in the clip. So that was that and enjoy. Um, if you need to take it apart, crack on.